Did you know that Brazil covers nearly half of South America? And within its borders lies the largest rainforest on Earth also, with a staggering 10% of all known species. This giant of a nation is not only vast in size, but also in natural wonders. Yet, with its immense scale comes equally large challenges. How did Brazil become so enormous, and what are the forces driving its current struggles? Let's uncover the fascinating story behind Brazil's remarkable size and the pressing issues it faces. First off, let's talk about Brazil's sheer size. Brazil is the largest country in South America, and just to flex a little more, it's the fifth largest country in the world. We're talking 8.5 million square kilometers here, or 3.2 million square miles if you're on the imperial system. To put that into some fun context, Brazil is larger than the entire contiguous United States, sorry Alaska, you're still the cool kid in class, but we're not counting you today. It's also bigger than the entire European Union, and get this, it's larger than Australia. Yes, Australia, the country that's basically one giant outback steakhouse. Brazil looked at Australia and said, that's cute, but hold my caipirinha. So what makes Brazil so massive? A lot of it comes down to geography, particularly the Amazon rainforest, which covers a staggering 40% of the country. This isn't just any forest. It's the largest tropical rainforest in the world, often dubbed the lungs of the earth. Imagine the responsibility of being the country that breathes for the entire planet. The Amazon is far more than just trees. It's a vibrant, noisy, and incredibly alive ecosystem, teeming with wildlife and diversity. It's so dynamic that you could probably create a hit reality show right there. Survivor. Amazon. Anyone. But jokes aside, the Amazon plays a crucial role in Brazil's immense size and unparalleled biodiversity. It's a key reason why Brazil isn't just large on the map, but also one of the most ecologically rich and significant places on Earth. Next up, we have the Brazilian highlands. When you hear highlands, you might picture Scotland with its bagpipes and kilts, but Brazil's version is a bit different. Covering over half of Brazil's landmass, these aren't towering peaks, but a vast region of low mountains and plateaus that seem undecided between being flat or hilly. So they chose both. The terrain stretches endlessly, creating a unique landscape that's central to Brazil's geography. The Brazilian highlands are crucial not just for their size, but also because they influence the climate and are the main source of many rivers, including the São Francisco, affectionately known by Brazilians as Velho Chico. This area is the backbone of Brazil, shaping its environment and supporting its vast river systems. Let's talk about the world's largest tropical wetland, Pantanal. Nestled in Brazil's central west region, the Pantanal is like the Amazon's introverted cousin less famous, but equally fascinating. It's a paradise for wildlife lovers where jaguars, caimans, and capybaras roam freely, as if you've stepped into an episode of Animal Planet. If the Amazon is the lungs of the earth, then the Pantanal is like its spleen vital, quietly doing its important work behind the scenes, yet still teeming with life and beauty. And then there's the Atlantic Forest, which once stretched along Brazil's entire eastern coast. Think of it as Brazil's ancient, majestic beard, now sadly trimmed down to just 9% of its original glory. This forest was once lush and massive, but urbanization and agriculture have reduced it dramatically. What remains is still incredibly rich in biodiversity, but it's a stark reminder that with great size comes great responsibility. Now let's talk about biodiversity because Brazil is like that overachiever in class who does everything and does it well. Brazil is home to an estimated 15-20% of the world's total biodiversity. That's like being the valedictorian of Mother Nature's graduating class. Brazil has the most species of plants and freshwater fish in the world. It ranks second for mammal species and third for birds. And don't even get me started on the mangroves. Brazil boasts the largest continuous stretch of mangroves in the world, covering 1.3 million hectares. Mangroves are those gnarly, twisted trees that grow in coastal saltwater, and they're incredibly important for the ecosystem. Think of them as the marshland bouncers who keep everything in check. But all this natural beauty and diversity comes with great responsibility. Brazil's incredible biodiversity is under serious threat from deforestation, urbanization, and other human activities. Over 70 Brazilian mammal species and 103 bird species are now considered endangered. It's as if Brazil is the caretaker of a giant, magnificent zoo, but the gates keep getting left open. Protecting these ecosystems is crucial, not just for Brazil, but for the entire planet, making conservation efforts more important than ever in preserving this natural wonder. 
Speaking of which, Brazil is rich with natural beauty as well as natural resources. We're talking vast mineral deposits like iron ore, manganese, bauxite, nickel, uranium, and gemstones. And let's not forget the significant oil and natural gas reserves, particularly offshore in the Santos Basin. It's like Brazil hit the geological jackpot, and it's been cashing in ever since. Plus, Brazil's fertile agricultural land makes it one of the world's largest producers of coffee, soybeans, beef, and other commodities. If you've ever enjoyed a cup of Brazilian coffee or a juicy steak, you've got this massive, resource-rich land to thank. So how do we make sense of all these geographical features and natural riches? Enter the world of mapping. Brazil's size and diversity are so vast that we need all sorts of tools just to wrap our heads around it. Geographic Information Systems, or GIS, help us with spatial analysis and mapping out Brazil's complex geography. By using these tools, we can visualize the vast landscapes and understand the intricate details of Brazil's terrain. Remote sensing, for instance, allows us to analyze land use, deforestation, and urban expansion from space. Because when your backyard is as big as Brazil's, you need some high-tech gadgets to keep an eye on things. And then there's topographic mapping, which gives us detailed representations of elevation changes and landforms. It's like having the cliffs notes for understanding Brazil's physical geography, helping us make sense of the towering mountains of the Serra do Mar and the deep valleys of the Amazon. For those of you who love a good theme, thematic mapping is another powerful tool. It lets us focus on specific aspects like climate, population density, or natural resources across Brazil. These maps provide a deep dive into Brazil's many unique features, offering a clearer picture of how its diverse environments and resources are distributed across the vast landscape. But it's not only because of the geography that's diverse. Brazil's cultural landscape is just as rich and varied. With over 200 indigenous peoples and 170 languages, Brazil is a melting pot of cultures, traditions, and histories. The country's population of over 211 million people includes a mix of European, African, and indigenous ancestries, along with more recent immigrants from Asia and the Middle East. It's like someone threw a massive cultural potluck, and everyone brought something amazing to the table. However, for all its beauty and diversity, Brazil isn't without its challenges. The country faces significant inequality and poverty, with over 10 million people living on less than $300 per month. That's a stark contrast in a nation so wealthy in natural resources. Corruption and political instability are also ongoing issues, with frequent protests and even impeachment proceedings making headlines. It's a bit like living in a soap opera, but without the dramatic music and commercial breaks. And then there's environmental degradation, especially in the Amazon rainforest, where deforestation rates remain alarmingly high. Despite being known as the lungs of the earth, the Amazon is being cleared rapidly for agriculture and development. It's like watching someone slowly shave away at a majestic lion's mane, painful, unnecessary, and ultimately destructive. This relentless deforestation threatens not only Brazil's biodiversity, but also the global climate, making the urgent need for sustainable practices and conservation efforts clear. The loss of the Amazon would be a tragedy on a planetary scale. So why is Brazil so big? It's a mix of geographical luck, historical expansion, and remarkable natural diversity. But with its vast size come immense opportunities and significant responsibilities. Brazil is more than just a large spot on the map. It's a vibrant tapestry of ecosystems, cultures, and histories. As the world watches, how Brazil manages its immense resources and challenges will have implications far beyond its borders. This South American giant's choices will shape not only its future, but also the global landscape. As we wrap up, here's something to ponder. With all this incredible size and diversity, how do you think Brazil's future will shape our world? If you enjoyed this journey through Brazil, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss our next adventure. Check out our other videos to keep exploring more fascinating corners of the globe.